bordered by Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand. Cambodia has a wide variety of plants and animals. However, this wildlife is under severe threat from loss of habitat and hunting. Cambodia's population of elephants is thought to number only about 200 in captivity, with less than a few hundred remaining in the wild. The rate of deforestation in Cambodia is one of the highest in the world. Cambodia's rainforest cover fell from 70% in 1969 to less than 3% in 2007. Now less than 3,000 square kilometers remain. The Cambodian Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Siem Reap, only a 45 minute drive from the famous Angkor Wat. This sanctuary was created to protect and conserve the unique animals and remarkable habitat of Cambodia. I have visited Cambodia so many times, and every year I saw the forest, I see the environment are changed. The weather also turned to be hot and hotter. Sometimes when I flew from Siem Reap back to Thailand, I can see the difference. Fly all over around Cambodia, it's very dry, no tree. And then when you fly to Thailand, you can see the green. I love the country. I love to see a lot of things. Over there is still unexplored, but it's sad to see the forest there get cut down every year. I would like to work with the people there, and especially I want to help to save the animal and wildlife in that country. Elephant Nature Park uh, first became involved with this project uh, a year ago, December. We were engaged by a gentleman by the name of David Castleman. He's a, a lawyer from California and who's been working on this uh, concept here for uh, quite a number of years. And uh, they hammered out a legal agreement with the Cambodian government back then to establish uh, what they uh, uh, called the Cambodian Wildlife Sanctuary. The goals of the uh, Cambodian Wildlife Sanctuary are uh, parallel with our own uh, conservation ethic and, um, uh, and the establishment of uh, of care for, for captive elephants in a space that is quite enormous. So the, this, the space here is 25,000 acres and um, the project that Elephant Age Park is, is wishing to contribute to this is a space within that of around 10,000 acres dedicated to care and, uh, of elephants and particularly to release as many as possible Cambodian captive elephants into this space and this would be pretty much the only place that exists um, really uh, other than potential for observing a wild elephant this would be the only place that the public can actually see uh, uh, elephants released into a space that's uh, entirely natural. Tourism is a green industry and ecotourism is the only way that can bring more tourists and preserve the environment. So the government now uh, prioritize in this sector and step by step we uh, give some uh, land concession to a company that care about the environment uh, but at the same time uh, bring more and more tourists. So ecotourism activity are the top agenda for our country now. Part of the whole picture here is what we want to develop is a permaculture in which uh, the volunteer program is involved in, in learning about sustainability and uh, growing your own food and, and maintaining a space where we can work out of from here. So we, so we have no need uh, from the outside other than what we grow. So this is our volunteer living accommodations, dorm style. There'll be sleeping pads and, and mosquito nets in each area. Well, we can accommodate, it's quite a large space, we can accommodate large group of uh, volunteers up to 30 plus should not be a, a problem at all for us. So my first time come here, I say like 
I'm shocked. Like, how many big trees have been cut down? Nowadays, the wildlife here have been lost their home from uh, slash and burn and from the illegal logging. This tree, they took uh, a fair amount of it. They took three sections, each about 12 to 16 feet long uh, of the main trunk here, quite large at the base. And here we are uh, about 40, 50 feet up from the base. But then here, from where I am, to where it branches at the canopy, you still have 35 to 40 feet that is just left lying here unnecessarily. It's still good, straight, true wood and just wasted on the floor. ກະບັດຄວາຫາສະເພໂຮຍນະອາຈຸຍນະກໍຖືບານໃຫ້ຮູບຕາປະປົນຍົມເດນະຖືຍົມບານກັບອັນ <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters, 16, 17 feet of wood and leave everything. I don't understand that. And just, is it just a cut and run, make some money? What is it? What's going on here? Uh, if we can't hear them, what's, the, what's their urgency? At least don't waste so much. Here's a classic example of the, where the forests have, in many ways, gone, become silent for all the creatures that have left it. It's a, it's been here for so many years and has created a canopy and safe haven for so many species. And now, well, it can't protect itself, can it? The only thing that can protect it is us. My plan and my vision to the project, I want to go and put back the forest and bring the area green again, bring the wildlife back, educate the people in the village educate the local community to understand our concept and work together. So we come here to restore the forest. This is our nursery. First time when I start, I start with uh, three volunteers here. They're helping me to selecting a uh, seed in the forest. So we select, first time we got like 2,500 seeds in the forest. And we, we put them all in the plastic bags and we plant them. And um, I start to collecting more and more and more. Until now a day, I got 350,000 trees in the nursery. So can you imagine, if you can see the size of this tree, this is what we're trying to stop. Imagine three to 4,000 of these trees since August, last August, almost a year, gone from this space. This is what we're trying to stop. This is where we need your help. We're well, yeah, sure we can replant, but it, we also need to stop it. Stop it now. I believe the volunteer people is a wonderful heart. You know, I, I have thousands thousand of volunteers came to visit the park in a year. I learned about these people. They, have, they are different. They want to make a change and they want to dedicate their time, give the hand to help us to go and work. Cambodia uh, project really need volunteer because it's volunteer can make difference. So we want many volunteers to come and visit us and to go and help us to plant the tree, to work with the local community, to go and work with the school, to work with the kids and the children there, and to work with so many, many things in the project. Since I, I've been here and I know what is going on here, and now I know that uh, Lake Project is going to uh, uh, duplicate, going to copy from this style to Cambodia. And I think this is very good because uh, it can provide uh, work, uh, 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 work to local people, it can provide income to local people, and in the country wide, we can have a destination, destination for tourists to visit. And that's one thing. The other thing, the best thing, 
It's the uh, animal. We have a refuge, a place to live uh, uh, peacefully. So, like project is is gonna be the the model, gonna be the best one in Cambodia, I think.